day two. So we didn't actually go off of the planet. Even though the onion did. That's weird. This is the music that was in the first trailer. Oh my god, it made me cry. Okay. Alright. I guess it's everyone. I call strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers, one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Pixelo. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepherd is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission is to rescue Captain Olimar has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority now is to search and find the uh search and rescue our fellow rescue officers. Yeah. Pixelo, Ochi. Fly to the area where the radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain in the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepherd's wireless communication at all times if you uh, so you have our full support. It's just being lazy little thing, aren't they? Because <sighs> like I could do the whole thing without him. I wouldn't typically assign so much for someone to be too a rookie, but seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be good in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Captain, uh, while well, I search for Olimar, shouldn't we, uh, should we officially put it on pause? No! We must still find him on our hunt for the, re um, for the other rescue officers. Oh! <laughs> One of my friends is online. I'll keep it on our missions list just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Oi more. Louis. <laughs> All in my um, shipwrecked on his unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for the missing. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, you can select 10 at a time. That's so. The onion menu is so weird. Are you free to chat real quick? Sure. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more useful when you're out in the field, so check them when you have a spare minute. Now that we have uh, that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Ready to explore. Which area would you like to explore? Okay. There's that area. Travel to Sun Speckled Terrace. <laughs> okay. I wonder how many like areas are in the game and stuff. So now we're gonna go to the area. It's like from the trailer. And things still pop out of you in the top right of the screen. Oh, the onion's going too. <laughs> Sun speckled. Is it speckled or speck? I think it's speckled. Terrace. Okay. So, onions, yeah. I wonder if. I hope Ice Pikmin don't have an onion because I don't want an, an infinite amount of them, you know. Also, my god, the loading times are longer than anything we've seen in Pikmin before. There's the bench that we've been seeing in every trailer. Oh my god. Oh, this game is so, 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 so beautiful. Oh my god. Wow. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on. I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. <gasps> There's the day thing. See that clock at the top left corner of your screen? Yeah, I, 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 I see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's set up so that the hand will reach the right uh, most edge in the area's local sunset time. Search for our mission. Uh, mission? Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but also back at, yeah, before dark. Copy that. We're counting on you. 
Oh, well, you should probably notice that the Onion accomplished the SSB goal. According to the voyage log, the Onion also serves as a part form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do. We can take all the help we can get. I think you could put these uh, Pikmin to good use. Wow. Wow. I can't move the camera. What the? Is it Joy-Cons disconnecting? What? Well, this game... Wow, the environment is amazing. <laughs> Let's get our Pikmin out then. We need to com um, complete a test for A. Ugh. Okay, well they can do that. So let's collect that bull bob. I think right now. Okay. Uh, stop, stop. <sighs> so like, doing it with the stick and the motion. So like, I don't know. Then uh, motion controls. Oh, yeah, you definitely need them. You can't move the stick further by slightly moving it. I just play a little bit without them, but I think motion controls are a definite W to have on. Wait, what? So, uh, the onion sucked up the corpse? Huh? Why isn't anything coming out? Judging from the life signs, it looks like Pitman numbers have increased inside the onion. But then, maybe Pitman have evolved to self-limit how many can be out of the surface to prevent unnecessary loss. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the cursor is so short. It's like Pitman 1 and 2's cursor, which you would think I would like, but... But, no, it's too short for a game like Pitman 4. Pitman 2, it's fine, but... Definitely need motion controls on. The game saves! Anytime! Oh, 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 oh! That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. Check Captain Olimar's voyage log. One, uh, one could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When they're heated, it melts down into brown clay and becomes mollable? Mol mollable? I should be able to you might find many applications for it. What's it do though? Okay, well let's bring it back then. But why can we only have 20 Pikmin out? What? 20? That's not enough. No, they prevented the quick plucking method from Pikmin 3. Well, I don't know why the game is limiting us to 20. Oh, we're getting a call. Come in, Pixelo. I forgot to, uh, I forgot an important detail. This is, uh, what you're going to need. Oh, it's helpful when it comes to searching for rescue officers. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he will be able to locate and, uh, the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y to open actions, and then use left stick to select a command. Okay. Dandori? What does that mean though? I saw that as the battle mode thing, maybe. You look a little confused. Have you never heard of the term Dandori? Yeah, I've not! <laughs> Dandori is the art of organizing your uh, tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plot. Yeah, that's literally what I love about Pikmin. Embracing the art of Dandor um, Dandori is essential to our work. And you'll need it uh, out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open Y actions and command urge you to sniff out for missing comrades. Okay. No. They they brought back the d stupid Y menu. Ugh. Oh my god, I can't believe how beautiful this game is, though. Oh, so there's no charging anymore. Let's look at the controls and see if I can charge Pikmin. So there is Rush, but that doesn't seem to... 
do anything. Well, anyway, these are just about done, so I'll wait for them. God, the time is already going quick, though. Look at these plants, though. They look so incredible. So there's a really long wall here. So yeah, it looks like the throwing captain's mechanic is just not in this game. Alright, well let's throw them on. Yo! Cool. Alright, collect it back everybody. Huzzah, we got past the wall. Oh, there's eggs. Cool, drink the nectar, guys. The nectar looks so good. Oh my god. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When Pitmen consume it, it simulates their growth, apparently. The voyage log says that uh, the more they grow, the faster they move. It's really mis These are really mysterious creatures. So there's another hole here. Look! There's a cave here, too! This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. I'll look later. Hell yeah. So there is a treasure here, look. Oh! Ochi's going after. Oh no, Ochi got hurt! Hell yeah. I guess I need yellow Pikmin for this. Yeah, it doesn't look like they reach. Okay. Five. Uh, you should need seven though. Uh, I was going to continue my how many Pikmin I can I grow in a day series in Pikmin 4. But I think I need to really discover how it works. Because like, can we even get a hundred Pikmin? Like, I feel like having 20 Pikmin is so limiting. Why is it like that? I guess we'll understand why later. Maybe we can only have 20 of each type out or something? I don't know, it seems weird. Or maybe we have to upgrade Pikmin to actually get them. Oh look, there's another landing spot here. So there's another fiery blowhog. Huh? Another circle of stones? We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left them for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create base here. Any Dandori master would tell you that the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. Alright. Kill. Oh no, Ochi got on fire. What? Oh no, his tail. Wait, you can move the camera in the cutscene. Oh, I keep wanting to charge like it's Pikmin 3. You want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Press the delta. Yeah, I know. I've played Pikmin 1, 2, and 3. I know how this works. It makes targeting... So I think... Wait, does locking on keep the camera? Or is it just L that keeps it in place? Nope. I don't know. Alright, throw, 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 throw. Oh! He didn't eat any though, that's fine. Wait, wait, Ochi, can you get this? Let's just play around in the water a bit, because oh my god, does it look good. Wow, the water looks great. Wait, what? Oh, it's halfway through the day. Wait, that five thing, uh, like the fractions above the number just disappear from, from far away. I wonder why, but okay. But they should make it fade back in instead of just pop back in. It kind of looks a bit bad. Oh, there's some Pitmin here. Oh, there's a baseball over there. So yeah, Nintendo actually changed Pitmin 1 and 2 on Switch's controls to use the motion kind of thing. That's the same as in Pitmin 4. So, like, I understand why they did it now, because they want to make the controls feel just as good as, you know, what Pikmin 4s will feel. But again, don't change my Pikmin 2. There is a cave here, but I did see some pots down here that I want to break and see what's in it. Whoa, female shear grubs. Hello. Uh, yo, it's a fruit. Also, oh my god, that is loud. No! Okay, good. So I can send Ochi on one of them. 
Uh, we have four Pikmin left to do something. Let's see what's up here. Then we should definitely get in the cave before dark, though. Oh, male sheer grubs. Okay. Oh, we came here. Look, there's that clock. So this is a wall, okay. I guess for now we'll just... Uh, oh my god, the yellow onion! Is it? I mean, we'll come back later for it. Although we can't because it's the demo, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we'll collect that. Uh, and then with these two, I'll just get these two, two red pellets here. Now, I know that this will zap me, but I want to see if it hurts me. Yes, it does. Oh my god. I want to know also if electricity actually hurts Pikmin. It probably will. Nintendo probably learned the lesson. Yes, I do. They're all at the ship except for these two. But yeah, since it's becoming near the end of the day, let's collect everyone up and then go inside of this cave. It's just like Pikmin 2. Oh my god, I love it. This game is so open though and so big. Like, look how far I've had to travel just to come back to base. Oh my god. I really hope we can upgrade the amount of Pikmin we can have in the field. I hope that's an option. Because if we're limited to 20... Also, oh my god, the pellets have grown back. They must grow back after some time then. Like real plants. If you would like... You know, because like... In the autumn and winter, they like die and then they regrow and stuff. I guess they maybe they actually spread seeds in the ground and then they just grow back new plants. But whatever, you know what I mean. An important part of our rescue mission is to make sure we're back to base before it gets dark. Oh, the ring, like in Pikmin 3. Yeah, hurry up. How far are they? Also, oh my god, that is so loud. There are two stray Pikmin since the other ones are right there. Also, it's a good thing that the Pikmin don't like rush and move like in Pikmin 3 Deluxe, because oh my god, that looks so unnatural. If the game doesn't let me go into the cave at night or something, that's going to be annoying. Well, oh my god. We're on the countdown. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last frost cavern. I entered this cave to look for the SS Dolphin parts. Uh, I found creatures that defy the laws of that defies the logic of space. It further surprises me by expelling frigid cold air. Expelling is that how you say it? Imagine if there was a Pikmin that hadn't. Bro, the Pikmin developers are too smart. I don't even know what that word is. Acclim acclimatized to the cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. So there's icy blowhogs now. That's so crazy. Oi. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. Hello, hello. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin so you can enter the cave without stopping at the base first. Oh, you can't just be left out here, so as long as... Yeah, okay. Well, let's confirm and go... No! No! Are you kidding? How stupid. Well, we gotta wait then. It's kind of stupid, isn't it? Oh, we can move the base here? What? I think it'll be better here anyway. Yo, that's so crazy. What? I like that. That's a good feature. Alright then, let's go into the sky. So we have 82. Oh no. 95 red Pikmin. I don't understand why we can only take out 20 though. We, we must have to upgrade. I'm not I'm not believing that you can only have 20 of each type of summer. We have to take them. Uh, we have to upgrade the amount we can have. 